the UN Security Council will discuss Moscow's claim the U.S. is funding biological weapon labs in Ukraine. The U.S. has been quick to refute the claims, but that's not stopping China from also repeating them. The meeting comes as Russia launches a new round of airstrikes targeting western Ukraine and as Russian troops surround Kyiv. Satellite images taken by Maxar Technologies Thursday show the 40-mile-long Russian military convoy largely dispersed, with some vehicles in forest and others seen in residential areas near Kyiv. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky remains resolute. I am the president of an adequate country, an adequate nation, and the father of two children, and no chemical or any other weapons of mass destruction were developed on my land. The whole world knows that. As Russian troops inch forward toward the capital of Kyiv amid heavy fighting, Ukrainian forces say they defeated a Russian tank regiment in Broveria Thursday, eliminating its commander. We are doing everything to save our people in the cities that the enemy just wants to destroy. Although the U.S. supports Ukraine's efforts, the White House declined to specify any so-called red line Russia could cross that would lead to U.S. involvement on the ground. It's important to realize that it's not in the United States' interest to get into a conflict with another nuclear superpower that is and could be the beginning of World War III. Now, the Senate also voted yesterday to pass a government funding bill that includes nearly $14 billion in aid for Ukraine and now heads to the president's desk for his signature.